Hi, and welcome to this super quick introduction to Touch Chat with WordPower 108 with keyboard. So you're probably here because you have a child who's using Touch Chat, or maybe you support someone who's using it to communicate. Touch Chat is an app on the iPad that's used to augment communication, to add to it, um, or to replace communication completely if, if um, you are a person who's non-speaking. So it has a lot of really flexible uses. Um, it's a wonderful tool, it's such a powerful tool. You can really say whatever you want, whenever you want with something like this and be heard because there's voice output. Okay, so let's take a little look at some of the features. We're just gonna really scrape the surface here and just look at kind of how it's organized and how we can use it. Um, we have a bunch of core words with symbols and a lot of core words that are just words with no symbol accompanying it. Um, you'll notice we still have our categories um, up here. And then a really cool thing about 108 with keyboard is that we also have um, verb inflection up here. Um, so if I'm saying go, go, I can say that I'm going in the present progressive or that I already went past tense. Went. Uh, so we can change um, the verb tense up there. There's also a really nice feature of having word prediction. Um, so if you're writing going, going, um, you can still, you know, find that word quickly with word prediction. So let's take a tour of the different folders up here in touch chat. So of course you can probably guess what's in people. Um, this is where we can store all of our people words and some more pronouns. We want to put school specific people in this file. Um, and we want to put jobs, um, different types of people like that in that folder. Um, our question folder is where our question words are. Um, pretty straightforward. If we want to say the word question, question. it's always, um, you'll find when we go in the folders, the word will always be in purple somewhere on the perimeter. Okay, um, places also straightforward. All of our places are here. Um, you can go to kind of specific things, the things that have arrows um, linked to other pages related, um, but lots of um, different place-based symbols in there. Um, time and temporal concepts, yesterday, today, tomorrow. Um, the seasons, the months of the year, the days of the week, some phrases related to that as well. Like yesterday was. Yesterday was Friday. Friday. Question, yesterday was Friday. <laughs> yesterday was Friday. Okay, now let's go into social. Social is all of our kind of phrase-based social communication things. So you'll find things that you'll say in greetings and goodbyes in here, or things that you might use to kind of um, mediate a communication breakdown and, and repair a communication breakdown. You'll find those things in here. Um, some recorded messages are available on the next page in social. Let's go back home. There's also describing words. Oh, probably the one I use the most, it feels like. We have a lot of common descriptors uh, on this first page. But we can search by the first letter if we're looking for something specific. Maybe I want to look for big and I didn't see that. I go to B and I see big there. Big. Okay, now um, let's look at our other folder pages. We have groups. This has all of our category-based nouns. Animals, clothing, school words, weather, all these types of things, vehicles jobs, um, places in the in the house. Let's look in music. Um, so you can see there's just a big variety of different types of words and there's all these empty buttons so we can add our own um, to the mix. Okay, the last kind of folder, oh, that's actually two more. There's extra words. So these are some prepositions and other words um, in here. And then the last one is actions. It's designed like the descriptor page. There's a bunch of common actions um, on these pages, but we can also search. Okay, so if I wanted to find swimming and I wasn't sure where it was, I could go S and then swim. find swim. Okay, um, that's pretty much kind of the tour of, of all of the different folders. So we just want to think about, you know, making sentences um, and modeling sentences, modeling language. 
with touch chat we're at 108 you can say anything and you can have the correct um grammar uh and tense because they're all there waiting for you so if i'm saying i i like, like to to go go and then i can say with, with you, you to, to the, the and then i want to say park Hmm, let's see where this is going to be. Maybe it'll be in nature. I want to go with you to the park. Hmm, to the park. Park. I like to go with you to the park. I like to go with you to the park. Awesome. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, the more you use it, the easier it'll become. That's always the case with, with most things. Um, if you, you know, you can't find words, you can use this find a word function. So if I didn't know where swim was, I could find it. And then it'll tell me how to get there. So I know it's gonna be through actions, S and swim. So actions, S, swim. Swim. Okay, so let's just make a few sentences so you can see how it works. Um, so maybe I have a question and I'm saying, you know, I have a question for you. What, what is, is your, your, and maybe I want to say favorite and I can spell a little so I can type favorite. What is your favorite? And I'm going to go to groups and I'm going to go to food. I'm going to say, what is your favorite? Pizza pizza and I'm going to say topping. Topping. What is your favorite pizza topping? When I hit the question mark or the period, it'll always read it out. I have it set up so that you can see um, the symbol of a word in touch chat that does have a symbol because I like to have that in my bar as well. You can do that through menu. Um, I also have it set up so when I touch the speech display bar, it says it nice and What is your favorite pizza topping? What's your favorite pizza topping? Okay, and then to clear, I can just do a quick swipe down, for example. So if I say, I, I have, have, a have a question. question. Okay, so I have a question. I have a question. And I'm going to ask my question. I'm going to say, where, where are, are you, you from? From. Where are you from? I have a question. Where are you from? I have a question. Where are you from? Okay, so that's an example of how I could ask a question. I could describe something. Maybe I, I'm i looking in the, I'm in the garden and I'm looking at some beautiful flowers. I could say, I, I see. See, A. And I could say, I see a pretty. Pretty. And then I can go to nature. I see a pretty flower. flower. I can. Add, I see a pretty I can, flower. I can add even more. I could say it, it is, is yellow. It is yellow, and and back to describing words. It is yellow, and, and I want to say it long. So if I didn't know that long was right there, I could look for it and describe it as e. It is yellow and long. There we go. Long. It is yellow and long. It is yellow and long. I see a pretty flower. It is yellow and long. I see a pretty flower. It is yellow and long. Okay. Uh, maybe we want to make a comment about something. We could say, and we want it. We want to talk about something that happened. Maybe people are talking about um, a video they saw on YouTube, and you saw that video too. You could say, I, I see. See. But we want to do past tense. Saw. I saw. That. That too. I saw that too. And then I could say it was. It was. And then maybe I just want to type it. It was funny. funny. It was funny. I saw that too. It was funny. I saw that too. It was funny. Okay, swipe down. Maybe I want to talk about something that I want to do. I. I want. Want. 
to, to go, go to, to the, the and I want to say place. Maybe it's in nature. I want to go to the woods. Woods. I want to go to the woods. I want to go to the woods. Okay. Maybe we just want to make a comment and say like, good. Oh, good idea or good job. Job. Okay. Or some social things. Um, we want to say like, awesome. That's awesome. That sounds awesome. Very cool. Yes or no are also in there, which are can be um, handy ones. Uh, maybe we want to talk about what happened yesterday. We could say yesterday. Yesterday. I. I. And then I want to say past tense. Went. went to, to the. And then maybe I'll do something different. Yesterday I went to the. To the dentist. Dentist. Yesterday I went to the dentist. Okay. Um, some other things, you know, you'll notice that sometimes when you press on some of the verbs in here, they, the buttons change around it. So maybe I say my, my turn, turn. Um, but we can also say turn, turn around, around or turn, turn it up, it up, or we can say stop, stop it, it. or listen, listen to music, to music, or we could say. I, I want, want to, to drink, drink tea. tea. So, you know, those kind of change as we go, which is very handy for some things. Okay, um, that is essentially the kind of quick summary of touch chat and how to use it. Um, you know, the more you use it, the more you explore, uh, the faster you'll get at finding words and becoming familiar, you develop a motor pattern and just have familiarity with where words are stored. Um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.